every game, every team, every angle. Locked on game to game, your team every day. Welcome in, everybody. You are watching Locked On Game to Game MLB, local experts with all of the biggest stories in baseball. I'm your host, Daniela Bruce, and thank you for making Locked On your first listen every weekday. Rodolfo Castro provided the only runs of the game with a two run home run in the seventh inning to send the Pirates past the Rockies in Pittsburgh. After taking the game in the late innings, Locked On Pirates has more on that win. Now, that's how you end a losing streak. Mitch Keller goes completely the entire way nine innings of shutout baseball for the first time in 370 games the pirates have a starting pitcher go nine innings and mitch keller and the pittsburgh pirates defeat the colorado rockies two to nothing to end their season-long losing streak of seven games they get back on track defeating a rockies team that they've already swept this season and mitch keller the maturation of him has looked great it's it can't be understated. Mitch Keller looked phenomenal. I asked before the game how many strikeouts he would have, and he exceeded those expectations and more. And the Pirates are finally raising the Jolly Roger again here in the month of May. My name is Ethan Smith, your host of the Locked On Pirates podcast, and I will see you on the flip side. It took more than a month, but Aaron Hicks finally has his first home run of the season for the New York Yankees as the Bronx Bombers took down the Oakland A's in New York last night. After the breakout from Hicks and a win, Locked On Yankees recaps the victory. This is Stacey Gotsoulias of Locked On Yankees, and the Yankees beat the A's 7-2 at the stadium behind the power of four home runs, hit by four guys who kind of needed them. Two needed them more than the other two. Let's just be real. DJ LeMayhew, Glaber Torres, both hit home runs. Good for them. They need to get they need to heat up a little bit. But the two guys who really needed to hit home runs, Oswaldo Cabrera, who hadn't done it since April 21st, and Aaron Hicks, who hadn't done it since last September. <laughs> Aaron Hicks hit his first extra base hit on Sunday against the Rays in the form of an RBI double. And then he comes home to Yankee Stadium and hits a monster home run into the second deck in right field, which would have been a home run in all 30 stadiums. I know people who hate Yankee Stadium like to point that stuff out, but it would have been a home run anywhere. So good for him for doing that. Nestor Cortez, last five innings, better than his last start, moving in the right direction, just like the Yankees. So we have everything you need to know about this game on the next Locked on Yankees. Plus, what on earth is going on with Luis Severino and his injury and his rehab? We talk about that as well. Coming up, the Tigers get a needed victory in Cleveland. This is Locked On Game to Game MLB. Make a fast break to FanDuel during the NBA playoffs because right now, new customers can get a no-sweat first bet up to $1,000. That's $1,000 back in bonus bets if your first bet doesn't win. There's no better place to bet all the playoff action than America's number one sports book. Visit FanDuel.com slash locked on and get a no-sweat first bet up to $1,000. That's FanDuel.com slash locked on. FanDuel, official sports betting partner of the NBA. Both the Tigers and the Guardians went into the week struggling to stay afloat in the AL Central, and it was Detroit who picked up a needed win on the road on Monday. Our Locked On Guardians host goes over the Cleveland defeat. Well, it's only May 8th, but we are running out of ways already to tell you that the Guardians struggled to score again and lost another game, this time to the Detroit Tigers. 6-2. to two. The Guardians didn't play the Tigers particularly well in 2022, despite how good of a team they were. And continually night after night, we're watching a group of the same players from 2022 that led this team to a division title not hit as they go through this stretch. It was not Tanner Bybee's best night at the ball yard. Four walks. The Guardians had chances, but they did not come through with runners in scoring position. The Tigers collected 13 hits. And the Tigers discovered everybody else has discovered as well. Uh, it was a good start by Joey Wentz, a left-hander who continues to shut the Guardians down. And they brought in Jason Street for two in a third innings to shut the Guardians down. He had the uh, sixth ERA of a reliever, but that didn't matter. The Guardians couldn't muster much. They had some chances at the end. It seemed like Stephen Kwan's 10 pitch at bat was their best chance. Didn't come through. Jose Marius did hit a home run, but it didn't matter. We will break it all down for you on Lockdown Guardians. 
Losses over the weekend have the defending champion Houston Astros back to an even 500 on the season going in to a series with the Angels. Locked on Angels and Locked on Astros have more from L.A. as Houston tries to get back on track against an Angels team that is trying to snap a two-game losing streak of their own. Well, the Astros fall to the Angels 6-4. to four. It looked promising even after Hunter Brown gave up his first home run of the season. It's first home run of his professional career. 57 innings without a home run. Boom, Hunter Renfro, the home run leader for the Angels. They go up 1-0. The Astros come back, put a three spot up. The Angels tie it. David Hensley gets involved. It's a home run. They tie it 4-4. They go ahead 6-4. Rafael Montero has not looked great in May. Seven runs he's given up in one and two-thirds innings. The Astros fail to meet those runs and tie it up to take it to extra innings. They lose 6-4, to four, their third straight loss. They've got two more, but the biggest challenge against Shohei Otani in Tuesday's game. Stay tuned in to Locked on Astros. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and check us out wherever you get your podcasts. Remember, we're your team every day. Go Strohs. Well, if you want to compete and get to the playoffs, you got to beat the teams in your division and you got to beat teams over 500. And the Halos did that on Monday night. Hey, everybody, it's Mike Frisch, one half of Locked On Angels. Angels get a 6-4 to four victory over the Houston Astros. Patrick Sandoval gave them six in a third. Strong, strong innings. Kept them in the game. Matt Moore came in and shut everything down. What a bullpen piece he's been. Shohei Otani had two RBIs in this this game. He's the unicorn. And then Brandon Drury had a go-ahead RBI triple in the eighth inning. Matt Theis got a add-on run with a sacrifice fly, and Carlos Estevez got his eighth save for the Halos, and they moved to 20-16, and 16, second place in the AL West. And Johnny and I are going to recap this game on Locked On Angels. We hope you'll join us. Coming up, both of Chicago's teams lose on Monday. This is a Locked On Game to Game MLB. Welcome back to Locked On Game to Game MLB. I'm your host, Daniela Bruce, and thank you for making Locked On your first listen every weekday. The Kansas City Royals stunned the Chicago White Sox last night, turning a tie game into an eight-run Chicago deficit in just one inning. With Chicago still struggling to figure things out, Locked On White Sox has more. The Chicago White Sox lost to the Kansas City Royals 12-5 to on Monday in Kansas City. Hey, I'm Nick Murawski from Locked on White Sox. A day after the White Sox scored 17 runs, had 18 hits, they turned in a five-run, eight-hit performance. Sox starter Dylan Cease, not good. Five innings, seven earned runs. Uh, Aaron Bummer. Not good. Two-thirds of an inning, four earned runs. Uh, White Sox pitching lived up to their reputation. Sox try to turn things around on Tuesday with Lucas Giolito on the hill. For more, check out the Locked On White Sox podcast. An AL West matchup pitted the division leading Rangers against the Mariners in Seattle. Locked On Rangers recaps the matchup. A rare one-run win in Seattle. Last year, the Rangers absolutely were horrible in one-run games. And in Seattle tonight, the Rangers take a 2-1 to one win over the Mariners. I'm Bryce Patrick, host of the Locked on Rangers podcast. John Gray had a fantastic start in this one. The Rangers desperately needed their number four starter to come through, and he did with seven run, seven innings, just one run on the solo shot in the first inning. The Rangers offense was able to come back, and the Rangers pitching was able to hold the Mariners to just that one run on the solo shot. Big, big outing for John Gray, who had been struggling as of late. The seven innings were his long was his longest outing of the season. The one run is the fewest runs he's allowed this season and eight strikeouts, something he desperately, desperately needed. Jonathan Hernandez was able to come in, Brock Burke and Will Smith to close this one out. A two to one win. Texas needed and the win streak lives on. The Chicago Cubs are below 500 on the season after dropping their series opener to their rival Cardinals last night. Locked on Cubs looks at what's gone wrong for the North Siders while Locked on Cardinals celebrates a needed win. The St. Louis Cardinals did something against the Cubs tonight that they haven't done all season. No, they did not start Wilson Contreras in the outfield. They actually won a series opener. 
Hey, it's JD from Locked On Cardinals, and the Cardinals were 0-11 in series openers this season until tonight when they take down the Cubbies 3-1. Miles Michaelis was solid, although he didn't last long, but the bullpen got shutout efforts from Hennessy's Cabrera. He was huge, wiggled his way out of a tough jam thanks to a great throw to the plate by Brendan Donovan, who was in left field tonight, nailed the runner at home. Jordan Hicks was filthy. Ryan Helsley looked great, and we gave birth to villain Willie tonight. Wilson Contreras goes two for four with two RBIs and relished in the booze that he was receiving from the Wrigley faithful, and I loved it. It's also back-to-back wins for the Cardinals for the first time since April 11th and the 12th. For the latest updates and info, be sure to keep it locked on Cardinals. Cubs lose another tough one today, 3-1. Not a one-run game, though. 3-1 against the Cardinals. It was a disaster of a night. Wilson Contreras was the difference offensively against the Cubs. That'll be a big headline. Uh, For me, the big headline was the Cubs uh, tied it up 1-1 in the fifth on a Dansby Swanson double, and Nico Horner was about to score and then kind of pulled his hamstring or had his hamstring go on him in the middle of running. Cubs didn't score the rest of that inning. Uh, and, and who knows how long Nico will be out, but it didn't look good. Uh, that was it. Cubs are just in an offensive funk right now. They can't find a way to get big hits, hit home runs, have big innings. Uh, it just costs them a lot of games. And, uh, you know, once a promising start, they are now 17 and 18 on the year, a game under 500. And that's going to do it for this edition of Locked On Game to Game. Thank you so much for making Locked On your first listen every single weekday. Make sure you subscribe to Locked On MLB and your team's Locked On podcast on YouTube and wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Daniela Bruce, and this has been Locked On Game to Game.